you so the first time I heard about Adam is it Adam Hoff? Huff, yeah. Huff. Yeah, like Adam Huff. Pronounced. See, I've never had to known how to pronounce your name. Yeah. It's just as if you spelt it H U W F. Oh, that'd be heaps like, easier. Like Huffy, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Adam it's Huff. English. I heard of you because of BMX and um, and hanging out at the BMX shop and then people going, there's this fucking crazy dude from Melbourne and <laughs> he just eats out of bins and he goes to ghetto <laughs> spots and makes fucking crazy shit to ride. And then I've seen you on Instagram <laughs> and he does. <laughs> he just goes and eats shit out of bins and builds some crazy shit. And I was like, that is fucking mad. And then I met you and like you're a good bloke and stuff and, and um, you could ride like a motherfucker. So that's pretty crazy too. But – then you came up with this or you partnered in this rubber cuppy thing. Yeah. Which um, seems to like suit exactly what Adam kind of yeah. exudes in his lifestyle. So what what's all that about? Um, I guess it's just like, yeah, that thing I said before, like hands and many pies and just like wanting to mold something or fix something that seems to be like a bit problematic. Um, like, you know, we have waste and um, – people just making new things out of plastic and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just liking coffee all the time. But uh, um, Do you drink a lot of coffee? Yeah, like maybe once a day. So I'm not, not consider not, that heaps, yeah. but... Yeah, it's just like grab a coffee, done. Um, yeah. Yeah, a good taste of coffee, I guess. And but, how did you get from good taste of coffee... I don't want to keep chucking fucking rubbish in the bin every yeah. time I have one. I always didn't like the single use kind of stuff. So I did just, you know, always had time to drink in and enjoy the, the coffee shop. So yeah. ultimately that's what you should do. And I started like wanting to drink and take away and ride around. Get, life's getting a bit busy or whatever. And just, um, with me and my partner, um, I was getting. I actually got a t- takeaway coffee, two takeaway coffees once, and we actually had a discussion about um, these are bad. I'm like, yeah, we both know, but we're having a good discussion about it, and yeah, so we came up with like um, all these tubes going to waste at the bike store I work at, and yeah. we had a, a light bulb moment, and it's like, yeah, what about putting the tubes on some jam jars, and kind of evolved from that, and. Yeah, and, and so part um, was seeing other um, companies trying to um, do reusable coffee cups and it didn't suit because it was like bits of plastic here and there or it yeah. wasn't like it was only a half a ass attempt at being environmentally friendly. Yeah. Um, and when I try and do something, I put 110% yeah. of my effort in. So I'm not going to buy into something that's not trying not to buy into something that's only half done. So yeah. it's like, all right, that's kind of going the wrong direction, but with I don't know, an environmental impact that they haven't got done quite right, you know, it's probably just a money-making thing. Yeah. Um, and so I made my own. My friends wanted, thought it was pretty cool looking and I don't know, from, you know, from a visual point of view. And so I just handmade all these jam jar cups and seemed to get quite popular. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, just kind of started doing its own yeah, thing from there? or Exponentially growing from there. And like, all right, let's, um, me and my partner decided, you know, let's um, go to a cafe and a few cafes, see if we can get some orders and if we can make some money up front to start purchasing jars or, you know, getting our product into cafe if people liked it. Um, yeah, um, just in one day, we just got all the orders we needed plus some. Yep. And, yeah, just grew from that. And 